I turned $500 into 10,000 a month using one lead gen automation stack. It's crazy how far you can go as a one person business once you understand how to leverage automation and AI the right way. In this video, I'll show you the exact steps I took to get started, the email personalization workflow that landed my first clients, the real cost of running everything from domains to leads, and the numbers to prove how profitable this model really is. I'll even break down the realistic benchmarks you can aim for if you're starting today, so you can see exactly how $500 can turn into 10K a month when it's built on the right systems. A year and a half ago, I was in your shoes, small budget, one skill and no roadmap. What you're about to see is the system that changed that, the exact version I built from scratch that still powers my agency today, just bigger, faster and now fully automated. So let's start with the system that made it all real, the same workflow that landed my first clients and proved this model works. Because before you even see the numbers, you need to understand the automation that made them possible. Getting into building automated workflows for cold outreach started as a one-off project for a client. They wanted to automate part of their sales team's work. So I built an automation that handled the research, personalized the first lines and sent the messages automatically. When I finished the project and saw it run, it clicked. This one workflow was doing what used to take an entire week of manual work in under an hour. It was sending hundreds of highly personalized emails, each with contacts pulled from LinkedIn, company sites and other data sources, while most teams are still sitting there writing every message by hand. That's when I realized what I'd actually built. Cold Outreach has always been kept by labor. It takes three to five minutes to research, personalize and send a single email. Multiply that by just 100 prospects and that's a full day gone. But with automation, one person can now do in a day what a five person team couldn't finish in a week and do it even better. That is the real edge. Most people are still trying to play catch up by burning hours on tasks that can be fully automated. If you understand how to build these systems, you can operate leaner, move faster and scale bigger than entire teams trying to do the same thing manually. That's exactly how this workflow became the foundation of my agency and why I was able to turn $500 into 10K a month without hiring anyone or spending a cent on ads. Now, let me walk you through the workflow that started it all. What you're seeing on screen is the workflow that helped me sign my first clients and it's still a fair very big part of the system I run today in my agency. So let me break it down for you so you can either replicate it or understand at least how it works and why it's such a big advantage. So the only input you need for this workflow to work is a lead list. A lead list is basically a list of names and email addresses you want to reach out to. For building a lead list, you can use whatever lead source you're comfortable with. I usually start in Apollo. Apollo is basically a giant database of leads. So what I've done is I've set up a mock search. So I'm searching for CEOs in the United States running marketing and advertising agencies. Up top, you can see that this search results in 6.4K leads for us to reach out to. Now you can either export this list manually using a CSV file and then uploading a CSV file to your CRM, or you could use another automation to scrape this list for you and add it to your CRM for you. The end result will be the same, which is a CRM filled with leads for you to reach out to. Before you can reach out to them though, you would need to enrich and personalize each and every lead. Otherwise your results wouldn't be anywhere near as close to mine. Since I use Airtable as my lightweight CRM, I've built an automation inside of Airtable, which lets me trigger the enrichment process for each lead that I want to. Once I've triggered the automation in Airtable, a webhook is sent to my N8N workflow. It receives the record ID, it then uses the record ID to get all of the information from the lead and pull it into the workflow. The information I'm talking about is the company LinkedIn URL, the personal LinkedIn URL and the website URL. We need those URLs because we're scraping those and using them as data sources. So as I said, the first thing we're doing is scraping the company LinkedIn and we're analyzing all of the data on the page gives us a lot of insight about the business, about the leads business we can use for personalizing further down the line. After that's finished, we also scrape the personal LinkedIn of the specific lead. Using the personal LinkedIn is great if you want to use a personal opening line, saying something about their work history, their education history, or maybe quoting something from the about page they wrote themselves. Now with LinkedIn fully covered, we move on to scraping the website, which I think is the most useful resource for personalizing any email. The first thing we do is we scrape the homepage of the website. There is the off chance that the homepage was unable to be scraped for whatever reason. Maybe the site isn't live anymore. Maybe there were some geo restrictions. If that's the case, we update the status of the lead in our Airtable CRM to we weren't able to scrape the website and we stop it there. Because personally, if you can't scrape the website, I don't think there's any use 
in reaching out to this person because the personalization can't be as deep as it can be for others and it would be a waste of your cent which you only have an x amount of per day if the website can't be scraped however we use the html that we scraped from the home page and we filter it for all of the urls which are internal links to other pages of the website Having extracted all the URLs, we use them as input for a large language model to help us determine which of those URLs are most likely to be useful for us to also scrape and analyze. Since I'm only reaching out to B2B businesses and I've seen my fair share by now, I've determined that there are four basic sections of a website. So the first one is the company and mission section. Then we have offerings and positioning about what they sell and their market fit. Then we have process and differentiation about how they deliver value. And then lastly, the proof of success, which is just the case studies or testimonials page. If a URL for any of these sections could be identified from filtering this by the LLM, we scrape all of those pages individually and we analyze them individually as well, which results in us having not only scraped the entire company LinkedIn, the personal LinkedIn and the most useful pages of the website. So now we have all the information we could ever need and all the data we could ever need to personalize our outreach or personalize our email to the specific lead in whichever way we can imagine. Obviously, we're not doing that by hand. That would take too much time, meaning the automation wouldn't really be useful at all. So what we're doing is we're using the data we scraped as input for this last large language model. The AI doesn't write the entire email from scratch, however. We've written a email template and the only thing we're doing is we're asking AI to derive certain variables to then later fill in the email template to still make it feel completely personalized for this one specific lead. What I've done is I've added a email template so I can give you guys a bit more of an example of what I'm talking about. So the variables I want AI to determine are the ones within brackets. So company overview, ICP of lead, pain point lead solves and industry. If I scroll a bit down, you can see that I've given some guidelines for the AI to make sure it gives me what I'm asking for. So for the company overview, I'm asking for a short compelling phrase describing their core service or expertise. And I want a maximum of three words. Now for the ICP of the lead, so their ideal client profile, the profile or the person or the business they want to get in touch with, I want to, I want the AI to give me who their ideal clients or placements are in natural language with a maximum of four words. And I'm asking the same thing for the other variables. And then finally, I want it to be outputted with just the variables. I want no description, no reason for why. Just give me the company overview, the ICP of lead, the pain point that the lead solves and their primary service and the industry. Once AI has determined all the variables, we have the full name and the email address of the lead we want to reach out to. We upload all of that to Instantly, which is our sending tool. Instantly then fills in the email template with the variables and sends it out to the lead. This way we can reach thousands of leads every single day with just a single click of a button. Now, if you want to copy this workflow and get the same advantage, you can find the full setup inside Scaling Systems, links in the description. It's completely plug and play with step-by-step -step videos showing exactly how to build it. Now that you've seen how the system actually works, let's talk about what it produces because once you understand the math, you'll see what this model scales so fast even as a one-person business. To break down the numbers, I built a simple Excel sheet to make it easy. It's a calculator you can fill in yourself to see how the math works for your own setup, what it costs to run, what kind of returns you can expect and how fast it can compound. So without further ado, let me walk you through it. So let's say we decided to start sending 750 emails a day, 20 days a month, so every business day, which would mean we're sending 15,000 emails a month. Now, if our email sequence consists of four emails, so one initial email and then three follow-ups, we would be reaching 3,750 new leads every single month. Now that obviously, Sounds amazing, but what are the costs attached to this? Well, let's first look at the domains and inboxes because to send that volume of emails safely, so without hurting your deliverability and without all your emails going through spam, which would render them useless, we need 15 domains and 30 inboxes. So two inbox per domain. Now you could buy those domains anywhere. I think on average you'd be spending $15, which is the cost of the domain for the entire year. And then if you're buying inboxes, I could recommend using Zapmail. I'm not affiliated in any way. It's just what I personally use myself. An inbox costs $3.50 per inbox. Multiply that by 30 and multiply the $15 by 15. So your initial startup cost would be $225 to buy the domain, which is once a year. And then your monthly cost for the inboxes would be $105. On top of that, there are some lead costs. Apollo, which I just showed you, is about two cents per lead. And then you're spending 2.5 cents on average on using AI tokens. So 
the AI tokens are being spent to use the API. And then lastly, we have the tech stack. So the tech stack is very lean for this model. The only thing you need to use is a CRM, which I use Airtable for. Then we need the automation software, which I use EnditN for. And then we need Instantly, which is the sending tool, which is what I recommend over Smart Lead, which all together brings us to the initial cost for the first month of $720 to reach 3,750 decision makers straight to their personal inbox. Now, since the domain costs are a yearly fee, you don't have to pay them in the following months. So after the first month of paying $720, every month will be $495 to reach the same amount of decision makers with the same amount of high quality, hyper personalized uh, emails. Now let's move on and look at what sending that amount of emails to that amount of decision makers would get you. Let's say we're calculating with a response rate of 3%, which is very average for this market, especially if you're personalizing to the level that's possible. You would get a total of 112 responses. Out of those 112 responses, 30 would be positive, meaning 70 people would ask you not to contact them again. The 30% of them would be somewhat interested in hearing what you have to offer. Let's round it up, saying that 30% would be 34 responses or positive responses. And out of those 34 positive responses, you manage to nurture 20% of them into a sales call so that's seven people and since we're not the best at sales calls since we're just starting out we're closing 25 percent of those calls which is two closes per month now closing two leads or two clients per month sounds a bit vague so let's put some numbers to it let's say our retainer is 2500 dollars so every month we'll be closing five thousand dollars in retainer revenue but for those clients we also have to fulfill so we have to buy the same setup which is 500 dollars which is about 20 percent of our retainer so our gross margin profit would be 80 percent so if you then look at the cash flow modeling using all these numbers so for the first month which is your warmer period of three weeks we're not doing that much we're only spending 720 dollars and then we're spending 495 for the first month on week five and week six according to the predictions of closing two people at 2500 dollars per client we are making or profiting $3,375. And we fast forward another month, closing two more clients. Now our cash flow for that month is $6,919. And if you fast forward all the way to after five months, so week 20, you can see that our cash flow for those 20 weeks is $48,598. So doing this for the entire year without scaling it up in any capacity is easily a six figure business. And this is without changing any of the numbers, because as I said, let's say you figured that your offer is working really well and you want to scale it up double the amount of cents so instead of 750 you're sending 1500 emails every single day these projections would remain the same so your response rate your positive response rate and the booking call and the close rate would be exactly the same now instead of two you're closing three per month and your cash flow after just five months would shoot up to almost a hundred thousand meaning two hundred thousand dollars in a year is easily achievable and at this point you're not doing anything crazy you're just sending 1500 personalized emails a day using the workflow i just showed you and you're only spending seven hundred and seven dollars on average every month to do so as you can see the roi on running this business model is absolutely crazy now know your numbers is one of the most important parts of running any agency if you know exactly what each lead costs you you can scale with precision instead of guessing that's why I keep tools like this to see in real time how every part of the system compounds and where the next bottleneck actually is. Because once you understand both sides, the system and the math, you realize how predictable this model really is. Everything becomes trackable, measurable and scalable. And that's where the real growth starts. But here's the thing. None of this happened overnight. I've been where you are right now, trying to figure out how to get clients, how to build something that actually scales and wondering if it's even possible to do alone. The truth is, it is you're still early. AI and automation are only just starting to reshape how business works. And the people who learn how to use them now are going to be miles ahead of everyone still doing things the old way. What I showed you today is proof of that. I started with $500, a laptop and a few automations and built a business that runs on systems instead of stress. If you take away anything from this, let it be this. You don't need permission, a big team or massive budget. You just need one working system that compounds. And if you want help building that system, the same workflows, the same automations, and the full roadmap that took me from zero to a hundred thousand dollar month, that's exactly what I teach inside Scaling Systems Society. It's where I help agency owners and operators build predictable client machines from scratch using AI and automation. The link's in the description if you want to check it out. Join the community and I'll see you guys inside.